You may see routing information protocol written a number of different ways. There's a RIP, a RIP version 2, and there's also a RIP NG that's used in IPv6. The entire protocol of RIP goes way back to 1988. So it's a routing protocol that we've had around and we've made many modifications to through the years. This is also an interior gateway protocol. It's generally seen in single autonomous systems. It's a distance vector protocol as well, which means it determines how far away a network is based on how many hops you have to go through to finally get there. And it calculates these number of hops to get to that final location automatically all the routers talk to each other using this RIP protocol to make that determination. RIP is also a dynamic routing protocol, which means that if there are any changes on the network, RIP will update the routing table to take those changes into account. RIP is then able to understand if a new link comes on or if a link goes away and update itself and converge the network accordingly. Although RIP was around for a long time, we've updated it through the years. And the latest version for IPv4 networks is one called RIP version 2. Routing Information Protocol version 2 was updated for classless interdomain routing because the original RIP protocol was designed for class-based networks. RIP v2 also has some built-in authentication so that when a router gets an update of routes, it knows and can authenticate that those routes came from the proper source. There is a network address, a number of hops, and a destination as part of the RIP routing protocol. The maximum number of hops you can go through to get to its final location is 15. If you go over 15 hops, the RIP protocol can't add that information to the routing table. This is probably one of the more popular routing protocols just because it's been around for so long and so many different devices support it. So if you are running multiple types of routers, one from one manufacturer and one from another manufacturer, you'll find that they do a pretty good job of communicating to each other over this very, very standard routing information protocol.